That's the intro music. Yeah, way better than our other intro <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> kind of electric guitar are you playing over there, Les Paul? Week four, NFL. Let's do it. We <laughs> are <laughs> back. Gonna have to redo that. Yeah. Episode 13 of the podcast. Week four of the NFL just wrapped up. We're going to get into some fun things tonight. We're going to talk a little bit about fan decorum, yay or nay, with our let's think about it question. We're going to hit Washington Commander's Corner with uh, yours truly, Taylor. Really, really dove into the trenches. The number one podcast yeah. for talking about Washington Commander's <laughs> It was Commanders heavily requested. Football. You guys, you <laughs> so guys heavily requested. strap in. You guys yeah. strap in. And then we're going to get into Matt's football uh, tier system. Is that a good way to describe it? That is a yeah, perfect way to just, just describe it. I love it. I love it. So let's let's start hot, fellas. I, I got some scotch in front of me. We're definitely drinking some hams. It's been yes. a good night so far. Not a sponsor, but they can definitely be one what, any what, time now. What kind of scotch are you drinking? Tom Tomlinson 12-year. You got this for my birthday last year. 100% not Tomlinson. What is it? It's like Tomatin. Tomatin. <laughs> Ladanian I've... Tomlinson is making some great <laughs> scotch, folks. Not a sponsor, but Ladanian, you can be. This is the letters change if you drink enough of it. This is poor number. <laughs> this is poor number two. That's not. That's not important. Yeah, it that, is not important. It's not important. What is important is we are drinking hams. The sponsorship has not been secured quite yet. Yeah, we're trying our best. The fascists at hams are against us, but we will prevail someday. <laughs> we will. But if there is another beer company that might be listening, maybe one that is based out of Washington, D.C., that is really looking for <laughs> commander's football takes, we would happily accept you as our lord and savior and drink your beer on our podcast and shout you out and promote you. So I would drink your beer. I'd wear your clothes. Mm-hmm. I would wear your hats. I would tour your tour your facility. I would fly yeah, we'll out to there, take a trip out there, and do the podcast. And out do there. the podcast live Here's with my Jaden Daniels t shirt jersey. Don't even give us money. Give us give us stuff. Give us stuff. Give we us don't need stuff. money. We don't need money. Is, is that desperate? We just enough? want gear. That's it. That's it. <laughs> just swag. <laughs> That's it. Just swag. The Washington Commanders are going to be sending swag after today's episode, folks. They might oh be. yeah. And speaking of um, fan swag, let's get into it. Let's think about it. 40-year-old men and women, is it reasonable for them to be dressing up in full costume and heading to their favorite NFL game? Let's be specific. We're not concerned about the 30-year-olds, the 50-year-olds. You can be 39 (laughs) and still dress. Still dress like that. That's fine in Taylor's eyes. 39 and a half. But if you're 40 and you wear a cheese head. <laughs> I think what you mean is just in general for yeah. like adults. 100%. Yeah. Just just for adults. Yes. Like kids kids can go all out. They can oh, go yeah. nuts. They can go crazy. Whatever. Yeah. But when you become, here's kind of the mark for me. I'm older than a lot of the players yeah. on the team. Isn't that scary to think about? So like. Well, it's weird to think about. Am it's I, weird. Am I going to rock a 20-year-old's jersey? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I'll, I'll stick with the guys that I grew up with. Yeah. I, I'm cool with jerseys. I think that's fine. Yep. I've never been a face paint guy. Like those people that are like, you can't tell me you haven't worn a Justin Jefferson jersey or something. Oh no no no! I love jerseys. No 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 he no. He just no. said he loves jerseys. Yeah, yes. but before he said that, he said he wasn't going to rock a 20 year old's. I. <laughs> if we I, rewind the tape and look at look at the replay, yes, he did say that. Yes. So t- okay, technically, I w- probably wouldn't wear a Justin Jefferson jersey. I am on the hunt for an Ivan Pace jersey, which he is significantly younger than me. But I'm just saying in general, like <laughs> it, it is kind of like a weird. It, it's a weird thing. But the funniest shots ever during like a sporting event is when one team is getting their absolute asses kicked mm-hmm. and it cuts to the crowd and there is some 40-year-old man yep. Yep. who has who is like in Lambo it's minus 25 their team is getting shellacked he has his shirt off like painted like whatever colors 
and just the biggest frown on his face. It is the funniest thing in the world to see adults dejected by oh, their unless teams it's the Vikings losing. fans. Unless it's the Vikings fans dressed up course, completely yeah. as a Viking. Yes, they do that yes. at preseason games. So yes. Danielle and I went to the Raiders, which we can get into the Raider Nation. Well, Raiders go crazy. They do. The Raiders Vikings preseason game. Yep. There were people, Raiders fans, dressed up as like Thor and just like the skeleton guy and all yep. this other stuff. There were people stopping to take pictures with them. And I'm just like Thor. Yeah, there is there is a Raiders yeah. Thor there. Huh. They they do a lot of the Raiders do a lot of weird stuff. So I guess I guess to narrow it down, I, 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 I said it's really funny when you cut to the crowd and you see, like, the very sad fans. There's something that Colin Coward said a long time ago. And this is – I don't believe this. I'm just saying it because it's hilarious that he said it out loud. He said he would never buy his son a jersey. The reason why was because he never wanted his son to wear another person's last name on his back. Oh, yeah. That is some masculine huh. nonsense, isn't that it? That is interesting. Because he didn't want his son to look up to any other kind of role models. Besides that, him? Besides him, basically. Huh. Which I think is the epitome of, of Colin Coward as a person, if you listen to his show and everything like that. Like, you, you definitely get that gist from him. Is he a specific NFL guy, or is he, does he do everything? I mean, he does a little bit of everything. I, I know the it, name, it's but more, I don't listen it's to him. Most, it's mostly, like, NFL, basketball, like, that kind of stuff. Got you. But, like... He's just known for saying, like, some of the dumbest stuff you could ever imagine. But he's always monologuing. So, like, Stephen A. Smith can't scream at him. Oh. Like, he doesn't have, like, the back and forth. But I remember a long time ago hearing him say that and being like, how insecure of a man do you have to be? Or just a person in general to be like, I don't want my kid to, to yeah. be, like, openly supporting another person because they could supplant me as, Jeepers. like, someone they look up to. That's a little yeah, much. A little. Like, I, like I think about it. Like, I, like Chris Carter. I have a Chris Carter jersey. Yep. Imagine if my dad was like, "Don't put that on." Well, your son's you're gonna getting make a me Harrison unhappy. Phillips jersey for me, so I see. see <laughs> you better I, be man, wearing it, man. If they've got them, <laughs> I'm getting I, one. I'm finding it. I don't like even that. care if they got them. I'm making 100%, one. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. <laughs> so if you were to lose, let's say one of your punishments was a uh, dress up at a Vikings game, go all out. If you lose your fantasy football league, would you? Ha would you do it? Would uh, you follow through, or would, would you leave the state or leave the country? I, I would do it. I just don't really like face paint and stuff. Like yeah. I like. You know, it, it's just a little weird. Like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. That's not my. That's not my way of self expression. How about let's do that? I like it's it. not I'll the way I self express. After, uh, did you face paint at NDSU? We made our whole body. I was gonna say you full body paint. And then yeah. it was out on a really cold day, and we stood out there for a really long time. That was a... on some of our uh, the videos that I mm -hmm. made of the that was podcast cold. previews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cold. And then we found out that the paint that the guy bought was not body paint so it was actually like stuck to us oh my so like gosh. everywhere that had any hair on my body basically had to shave the hair off to you get the paint off after that. he was yeah. a naked mole rat yep Ooh. it was brutal oh my Jesus. goodness so so what? i can wear a jersey i just started wearing jerseys i thought wearing jerseys like when i was younger that was that was just weird you thought it was weird when you were younger weird, really? yeah when i was younger i, had, I just like, wasn't jersey days at school and stuff. i was gonna say like yeah. complete jersey culture here yeah, yeah. I just I just never got into it. But if you go back into that room and see how many jerseys I actually have, I have a ton. I was gonna say but I don't now wear I wear mine very often, right. but I have Blackhawks jersey, you. Kane, yep. Johan Santana, yep. Can I tell you my favorite jersey? Harmon Killebrew, yep. That I've that I've had that I I don't think I can wear anymore. I have a Carmelo Anthony USA jersey. Ooh. From the twenty twelve Olympics. Fifteen was he wasn't fifteen then, was he? Yes, he was. Was it 15? Yeah, he was 15. God, what a pull. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, that was my favorite one. I love that one. All my friends and I got USA jerseys from some extremely sketchy Chinese website. That, yep. yep. I mean, I'm sure everybody, everybody else. Everybody does. That's I had, how a, you get I had your a Ray Lewis Everyone, yeah. University of Miami jersey. Like, yeah. I like, went all out. Albert Pujols, like, th that's where I got my jerseys. One of my buddies in college, um, they would draft their, well, we would draft our fantasy teams, and he would put in a large order for nice. Chinese jerseys and yep. he would get like two or three of his top guys so he is just the most random jersey you know Ian yeah yeah great guy lots of jerseys yeah, I think I have the Durant and LeBron USA nice same year I think nice my favorite one is a uh, Seattle Supersonics Durant no Ray Allen oh Ray Allen yeah okay yep All yep right. yep 
I got a Ray Allen uh, Celtics jersey. And then Khalil Green. Do you know that guy? He's a baseball player, isn't he? San Diego Padres shortstop. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you know my no- Nomar Garcia Parra pull back in the day? That's incredible. Yep. So I have a Nomar Khalil jersey Green. and I have a Khalil Green jersey. Khalil Green, if you're listening, swing by, my man. We got some ham for you. <laughs> Khalil, you got to be at least 50 now. <laughs> He can't wear jerseys, man. He can't. Yeah. He can't. He's at he that can't. age. So we're so we're like. Oh, no way. He's past the age. He can wear them again now. That's true. Yeah. Forty. Oh, yeah. Forty at age. Forty. Forty. Forty one. You're back into it. Yeah. So, so the whole the whole dress up thing is that's that's a little much for me. Like. But we're pro self expression. We are. We are. We don't want to be haters. Yes. I will wear a jersey to a game. Right. Yeah. But you're not going to paint your nipples. Yeah. I will not put nipple tassels on and Let's paint put my face. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. But do I enjoy looking at people who did go all out? Sure. It's in, Absolutely. It's entertaining. Get caught Absolutely. a little bit too much just staring. Oh, I yeah. Didn't, I didn't mean to stare. Sorry. It's hard to resist. I'm telling you, this Thor, he he resembled Thor. Big but, muscles, blonde hair. He he looked pretty good. But well, you ever, did you ever see the guy that, like, multiple years of the Vikings thing? Uh-uh. I think he, did he just pass away or something? Like... Because I think they were talking about that. The guy with the Vikings tattoos, like, on his biceps. Yeah, like a super massive fan? Dude yeah, that, yeah. Well, he's always dude. dressed up as a Viking. I think he's always there, man. They always cut to him in the stands. No, I think this year they were talking about that he's no longer there, and they're, like, oh. like pan to a different guy, and they're, like, a different sad that he's not here anymore. So I don't know if he just decided he can't go anymore or if he hopefully he didn't pass away, but... There's a super know. fan in uh, Philly that actually Jason Kelsey uh, gave him a belly bump, and he tore his ACL on stage at one of their uh, events, but he has, like, all Eagle stuff tattooed on his stomach. It's crazy. It's well, a shame Eagles Jason fans Kelsey are didn't tear his ACL, too. <sighs> Jason Kelsey's a good real, guy. Getting real, real <laughs> sick of the Kelsey's, my man. Jason Kelsey's a good guy. I, that, that, you know, that's another that's another one some other day, but I'm getting real sick of the Kelsey's. All right. <laughs> it's too much. I've heard way too much about a center and a tight end in my lifetime. Okay? <laughs> Skill players only. Gotcha. Jefferson. J.J. So yeah, fan decorum, not my, not our thing, not our thing. But we will wear swag from sponsors that want to give us shit. One hundred percent. Yeah. Stuff. Sorry. I will not. But send face us stuff. paint. But I will wear all your stuff. Facts. Exactly. Maybe not like Nazi stuff. Don't send us that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't. Like, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. Stuff, but just like that's gonna go into the fire pit. Um, yeah. In the backyard like, and get burnt real quick. But like other stuff, sure. Yeah. Sure. Hams. Any brewery in Washington. Khalil Green jerseys. Khalil Green jerseys. Khalil, <laughs> I know if you're listening. If it's signed and like put in a frame, I'll put it in our possible new podcast studio that Absolutely. we got coming soon. So it's got That's one right. of those uh, Winter Warrior Vikings Jefferson jerseys. Ooh, Ooh the snow ones. Really nice. The, <laughs> the white sweet. and silver ones, right? Like yeah, it's, it's got a little white, bit of like silver. It's silver mostly white, yeah. Kind of like chrome. I saw those at the game because I was thinking about buying one. Yeah. <sighs> Buddy. We got one from some guy was ordering from a cheap site. So okay, <laughs> mm. those, those, but it looks those exactly at identical. The were so like, a pop. yeah, Fellas, it looks nice. Are we gonna have to put in a order? Are we gonna have to find this website? <laughs> Wait, I mean, put in a jersey yeah, order. Ask the guy, Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels. <laughs> we're gonna talk about him next. I mean, speaking of Jaden Daniels, I'm gonna hop into this Washington Commanders corner real fast. Our Lord and Savior, Jaden Daniels. He had another stellar game. Yeah, he was playing the Arizona Cardinals. Nothing too fancy there. <laughs> yeah, I was say that's okay, fine. good qualifier. But he had a stellar game. He threw his first interception, which is unfortunate. He kind of forced it. It wasn't a double coverage. There was a guy sitting high and then a guy underneath, and he kind of just zinged it in there. He bobbled it and intercepted it. So I call it a half interception. <laughs> okay, so for, they don't they don't they don't do that in NFL, but I do in my analyst. So just in case if this is the first time, like somebody oh, yeah. like Khalil Green has heard the podcast, lead us in, Matt. Every single week that we have a podcast, Taylor is going to be discussing Washington Commander football. That we have an NFL podcast, we right. could change it yeah. up a little bit. Not not because we have asked him to do this. Nope. <laughs> not because we want him to do this. Nope. <laughs> It is because this is what he is passionate about, and just like those people that paint their faces, we have to cheer him on and say, you go, girl. You know what? We might have actually... Maybe we should have spent more time convincing him to watch the Vikings specifically, because he's making teams win. That's true. He is. Good luck. That's true. So so everybody, get ready, because 
Washington's some, going to the Super Bowl. You've got Washington <laughs> going to the Super Bowl here. I do have them winning the NFC East. So they, they kick the crap out of the Cardinals. They kick the crap out of the Cardinals. Cardinals are nothing special. Uh, Arizona Cardinals defense coming in the week four was 25th yeah. overall. Yeah. 18th passing defense, but the 28th ranked rushing defense, which makes sense why good old Robinson Jr. and uh, McNichols, I think I'm saying that right, were just running all over the field. Mm-hmm. Jaden Daniels also had eight carries for 47 yards and one touchdown again. So... They ran the ball very, very well. 449 total yards, 29 first downs. Total time of possession was 33-22. Robinson, before we get into Jaden Daniels, because he's the, he's the star player. Well, the whole team's looking good, but he's my guy. Robinson Jr. went 21 carries for 101 and a touchdown. You know, he, he might not play this week. Why not? He's Hang injured. on, Daniels or Robinson? Robinson. Yeah. He's trying to let Daniels get more yards. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. So there's a chance that McNichols is but m- taking over this week because uh, Eckler yeah. might be out too. I'm okay with that. They do have three uh, running backs that get the ball quite a bit, so they spread yeah. it around. But McNichols also looked good. Eight carries for 68 yards, two touchdowns, and he was the one that was uh, breaking a little bit longer runs, which was which was good. Good to see. 216 total rushing yards and four touchdowns in that game. Smokes. Yeah. Arizona can't stop a fly. Yeah. (laughs) Garbage. (laughs) Let's talk about my boy, though. Jaden Daniels, another stellar game, 26 for 30, 233 yards, um, and one. he threw a passing touchdown. Mm -hmm. This was his first one of the year. No, he had one. Oh, he had yeah, one he last had year. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looked good. Again, he was – they went out of the shotgun, I would say, 92% of the time. He did play under center more than the last three weeks combined. But every time they played out of center, he would roll right and check down. So he was throwing a little bit. Or if he rolled left, he would just run. It was very, very easily like, oh. He's going left. He's gonna he's gonna run it. So, but he's do he's doing the rookie quarterback thing. Yeah, where it's kind of like he's relying on his athleticism right now. One hundred percent. He's trying to learn a brand new offense. Obviously, they had preseason and everything like that. Yeah. But he's doing he's doing those things, but he's doing it with an extreme level of accuracy. Yes. And a high efficient offense. Yes. And like he might he might just be the guy. I think he is he the might guy. He just be the guy. And you the said, guy. and you said accuracy. So there was a stat, and I'm going to put your guys' football knowledge to test. Mm-hmm. I like this. Um, first NFL player. It's not on the dock here. The first NFL player, um, quarterback, through four games to complete 82 percent of his passes. Can you give me the other three quarterbacks? Ooh. Um. So he's number one at 82.2%. Right. Is Kirk Cousins on that list? Kirk Cousins is not on the list. Okay, I'm surprised because he, he is just a fiend for throwing it two yards. First <laughs> four games of their career. Let me let yeah. me correct okay. that. Okay. So you got Jaden. You don't have to go in order. Okay. Are they recent or are they pretty um, spread all out? But, all but one it's like Drew, is still it's playing. Is like Drew Brees on there? No. Phillip Rivers? No. Like Manning and Brady wouldn't be on that list. Brady's on the list. Brady oh, is really number two. I'm shocked. He probably did have some short checkdowns when he first started. Yeah, he might have only thrown the ball twelve times. Though. Yeah, Brady's number two. Okay. Is this is this like something like uh, Y A Tittle? <laughs> in the, nope, in the nope. 50s? They're all playing right now. They're, you're, they're you're, all your boy on Mahomes. the West Coast. Mahomes is not on there. Is Herbert? No, nope. Purdy. Nope. Geno Smith. Yep. Geno. Geno's up there <laughs> at three. Geno, baby. And then the last one, uh, Daniels just played against him. Kyler Murray. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. So you have Surprise. Daniels, Brady, Geno, Murray. Three or two of those guys are not known for their accuracy. But that's so the thing. I guess surprised. if you run enough in your rookie season, you're a threat. That's true. Like yeah. they're worried about the run, not the. That's true. Which when they threw that stat true. up there, I was expecting like who you mentioned, like Breeze and Phillip and Manning and them and like. But oh, I do feel nope. like a lot of those great quarterbacks didn't have. A little bit of a sloppy start is what they had. Like. Yeah, <laughs> right. I could see that. Right. So. But they be, they just became such check down Charlies. Like, yeah. yeah, I just figured that they're going for the, com- like, obviously the 
the accuracy title as Kirk yeah. Cousins' goal every single year, which means he can't throw the ball more than eight yards. But anyways, I digress on Kirk Cousins. <laughs> true, true, true. We'll get into Kirk Cousins a little bit later. He's actually playing uh, right now. But that's besides the fact. Um, for the first time since 2011, my, oh my, you hear that? My Washington Commanders <laughs> wow. are over 500. He's left his Chiefs for the Commanders. Are over 500. Um, I do appreciate that he likes the Commanders now. Because the Chiefs was a little, ugh. We don't need Chiefs to hear is, that anymore. Chiefs is bad. Game four <laughs> takeaways. And again, they, they handed they handed a pretty good whooping to Arizona. So we we really don't need to sit here too long and stew about this. We'll move on to next week when uh, they might get tested a little bit more. Do I know who they're playing? No. But am I going to find out on Sunday? Yes. It's a true fan right there. True fan. Um, Kingsbury, which I was shocked, plays three tight ends at times inside 15 yards. Um, do you know what that's for, fellas? You yeah. guys are the football guys. Why is he playing three tight ends? That's a that's a goal line like jumbo set. Do a lot of teams do that? Or is that just kind of a Kingsbury? Usually when they want to run the ball. Okay. So I mean that would so make on those sense three plays. They... So they did it back to back to back plays on the five. Well, like ten, five, and like the two. They threw one of those plays. Yeah. From what I yeah, remember. Usually when you bring in three tight ends, you're doing a jumbo set. You're pushing pretty hard or you're doing a play action where the tight ends kind of go out to the flats or i saw one play conform. action play in four weeks from Jaden daniels oh, jesus <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding jesus. one play action play and he did a play action he rolled to the left and he took off and ran for 25 yards in a first down he does what he does well it's crazy what do you say uh washington was able to run at will like i said arizona's rushing defense is 28th in the league right now not too good um, first interception thrown, first total turnover for Jaden Daniels, which is huge for a rookie quarterback, in my opinion. Absolutely. Yeah, that's No fumbles, being a runner, and not throwing interceptions. Um, on taped, uh, it looked like a poor decision. He probably could have done a little check down like normal, but he wanted to test his arm out, which I do like. He has been taking more risks down the field. I think I say, I 15 percent. Accept turnovers for... Yeah, someone who's confident in their ability. He gets the ball on those receivers so quick. Like even some of the tu- the two touchdown passes he thrown, I think the receivers were even shocked how fast it was coming in. Like he's he has an arm and he has a cannon. And now that he's trusting his line a little bit more, sitting back in the pocket a little bit more. Yes, he's taking everything from the shotgun, but he's actually going through read one two three four instead of just going right. one. Oh crap! Someone's on me. Let's check down and see what happens. Um, so I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that turnover. Um, so so who would you compare Jaden Daniels to? Yeah, I got as, it right as here. As far as like quarterbacks go, because I, I was saying before, yeah, uh, from the Ringer, I was listening to one of their podcasts, and they compared Jaden Daniels to Peyton Manning, which that makes zero sense. Is <laughs> is not that. is really like that's an apples to oranges kind of comparison if I've ever. Heard one before. Yeah, oranges, it's like apple to corn cob. Yeah, it's just it's a <laughs> yeah. it's a very <laughs> odd comparison if when I'm, when you watch both of their games. But like, who are who are you noticing in his in the way that he plays? If I'm looking at the league right now, Lamar, okay, from uh, Baltimore, and then um, maybe a little Jalen Hurts from Philly. Sure. And then if I have to pull from Back in the day, RG3, just because he was in Washington, he kind of did the exact same thing that right. in his first year. And then RG3 well, kind of went down. Turn out like that. <laughs> well, I think 2011 was the last time that they were over 400 or 500. Mm-hmm. And wasn't RG3 playing? Wasn't he the starter? Yeah. Back then? Yeah, that's that's when he won Rookie of the Year. And but you're right. Like Hopefully that. it doesn't turn out like that because my boy, he needs he needs a long career. He needs a long career. See, that that was always my hesitation yeah. was this is – that's. He's going to go on the RG3 track. Mm-hmm. Get hurt once and end your career. But Jaden Daniels is a much better thrower than RG3 ever was. Much better thrower. I think yeah. he makes better decisions. He's more patient in the pocket. He's not willing to get out of it as fast. Yeah. And that's what that was his MO at LSU when he was thrown to those guys. Like He can sit. He can make good decisions. He had very limited turnovers, which is the only thing. Well, actually, no. You guys said maybe Peyton Manning had a, quite a few turnovers when he was a rookie, but... We don't know that number exactly. Manning had a very shaky start to his season. Yeah. yeah. Again, they didn't really give a whole lot of context outside of the fact that they both have arms, apparently. Yeah. Like, that that was about it. 
But like I you know, I think <laughs> I think Daniels really sets himself apart because he is a guy that has the athleticism to take off. Yeah. And I think this is something you bring up Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Lamar had to learn that because mm-hmm. early on he would just go. Yep. He would just run. And actually inaccuracy was a problem for him to start off his career. Yeah. Now, I, I don't know if you guys caught the, the Bills game Sunday night. He's he's ripping teams. Well, yeah, I've watched plenty. Of like with his arm, yeah, with his he, arm. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's absolutely dicing everybody. Running up now. is now his second. That it's MVP that he got last year was well deserved, and he was ripping people up with his arm. Yeah, which yeah. was not the Lamar that we saw before. So maybe Jaden, in his his progress, or where he's at right now, is a lot farther ahead than where Lamar was. I would say so because all he time. did, not all, he ran a ton at Louisville, didn't he? Lamar, he just kept yeah, yeah. going. Yeah, that insane Heisman season. Or his good old high school highlight. The Florida nice. one? Was that it where he just juked S- the guy out of his shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Stopped on a dime and yeah. then walked in? Yeah. yeah, his shoes were left on the floor. And I think I think this name is okay to bring up now because he's been out of the league for quite a while and all that stuff has pretty much passed. What do you think about a Mike Vick comparison? Mike Vick could slang it. But he could also run. Mike Vick could throw 50 yards off of his back foot. I know. Like, on the fly. Easy. Everybody gets so infatuated with his rushing ability, but that dude had Mike an absolute cannon. Mike Vick could sling it. And Jaden Daniels has a cannon. Yeah. And he's about five inches taller than Mike Vick. There's something there. Yeah. There's something there. That's That was the other question mark I had there. So, so is he going to go out with a busted up leg like RG3 or is he going to be dog fighting? I don't. Wow. <laughs> so wow. You're putting dog fighting on. Dang. <laughs> don't say that about my boy. Wait till they win the <laughs> NFC and then we can talk about it. Oh, okay. Win the NFC now. Hey, he could oh, be yeah. a Hall of Famer like Peyton Manning if the other people are right. What, do, right. You, what do you guys think? Is it realistic that they can win the NFC? They got the Eagles. They got uh, the Cowboys. They got the Giants, which are absolute dirt. Their division. Their division. Yeah, I, I think... Oh, the East. NFC East. Yeah. I, yes, I, yes, yes, I, yes. I would definitely say winning their division is definitely realistic. The yeah. Eagles look like they're in complete shambles. Oh, like they're, they, might, they might fire their coach. They're a mess. I think either the Eagles or the Cowboys figure it out midseason, but I, that doesn't mean that like if they continue down this path, they're still it's it's open for grabs right yeah. now. Like, you can never count the Cowboys out though. They're yeah. always right there with a winning record, one or two wins above five hundred, and then they make the playoffs, and then they really don't do anything after that. Yeah, but it's funny because Dan Quinn is the Commanders' head coach. He was the defensive coordinator in Dallas for the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Really took that Dallas team that was never defense forward yeah, and really gave them an incredible their defense. defense has collapsed. <laughs> and, and right, and now you look <laughs> at Dallas' look defense and you're like, how are you hanging a, how are you letting a, the Saints hang a 40 burger on you? Yeah, yeah especially like, right after getting, like they were phenomenal last exactly. season. Yeah. They, they they were great the last couple of years. Yeah, and, they were one of the best defenses, weren't they? Yeah, and now and Dan had, like, Quinn most leaves. most turnovers, I think. Right. And Mike Zimmer comes in, which, oh, my God, big shocker. Mike Zimmer sucks at coaching. Yeah. That's crazy. Who would have known? Oh, my God. It's not like it's Vikings not like, fans have experienced I, this before. I, I was going to I was gonna say, <laughs> if Jerry Jones wanted a reference, he could have called me, and I would have said, um, <laughs> Mike Zimmer stopped being relevant seven years ago, but that's yeah. cool. Yeah, let McCarthy hire whoever he wants. They're going to get Belichick next year anyways. Who cares? So I have here in the document, you know damn well I'm picking the commanders to win the NFC East. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. For you're, sure. You're you're fully you're fully I'm committed. Build. Yeah. I'm committed. I yeah. might come to the next podcast face painted, and you guys can just rip me <laughs> apart. Rip me apart. You're you're fully in. You're fully in. Last thing, Zach Ertz. Um, what do you think about him, tight end wise? And I'm going to give you my yeah. two cents here. Um, so this is what I requested from you. I wanted I wanted a Zach Ertz report. He's a reliable 12 year guy. He's been in the league for 12 years. Reliable target. Good target. Good player. You can't play in the NFL for 12 years if you're not producing, in my opinion. But he's signed, a big tight end. Signed with the Detroit Lions for one game last year. Did he really? He did for the. Playoffs. I didn't know that. Yeah. Did he really? Did yeah. he get in? He's a big target. Um, in Kingsbury's offense, he's literally just running go routes and he's running quick slants and he's running out routes just to kind of get in areas of the zone and then make plays. I did try to look up some highlights on Zach Ertz. There weren't many. Oh, there's not many? There's not many. If you want to see a guy consistently catch the ball in the middle of the field seven yards away from the line of scrimmage. Yes, 100%. And that's what it Zach was. Ertz has got it. He played in the Kingsbury's offense in Arizona. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Right. Yes. 
Um, so I think it's an easy transition for him to just move into the offense. He's that old OG, and I, I know we love this reference, the Udonis Haslam of that team, baby. Mm-hmm. I think he's just going to come in and Get the be like, hey, experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep kind of Jaden. around, don't play, just talk. <laughs> yeah, keep Jaden kind of in line and be like, hey, this is what you want to look for. This is what I'm doing. So, yeah. Yeah, the ball finds him. Next he, re- he gets targets. Next report I want from you is about Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin, he's a stud. But is he is he top 10 stud? I don't know. I'm going to have to check back right. with you You're next gonna week. You're going to grind on the tape. I'm going to grind on You're the gonna tape. You're going to check out Terry McLaurin, who looks like the light has been brought back to his eyes because he doesn't have to catch passes from Kyle Allen anymore. <laughs> I like the name. Sounds like McLaren, which is a really fast car. And he's fast as hell. And he's fast. And he looks great. That was Washington Commander's Corner with yours truly, Taylor Peterson. Um, we handled business. We kicked their ass. On to the next. Let's go. I like the confidence in the we right now. Yep. It's your team now. <laughs> Damn right it is. I was going to say. I was going to say. Yeah, folks, if you want to send in, uh, do you want to tell people your size for the jersey for Jaden Daniels in case the <laughs> commanders reach out and want to send you some stuff? Extra large. Extra large. Jersey. Okay. Um, I wouldn't even mind 2X. I like wearing hoodies under those things. They're comfortable. But I will rep. I will rep a throwback. I will rep traditional. I will rep whatever you want. Jerseys are I doubt sweet. they go back, but they might actually, like you said, the throwbacks could be a thing. Like <laughs> Throwback to, their... to 2000 and. 19 21 yeah how long has it been changed well they it was washington football team and then it's just recently commanders oh yeah yeah okay. yeah. yeah i Throw do like their the colors though team. i like <laughs> their back colors. to the football team the maroon and gold it's slick oh hey i have i had a champ bailey washington redskins jersey growing up did you i did man champ bailey was my boy for a long time man Jane, Jane daniels is my guy mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> let's let's go washington how, how how are the tiers sitting in your mind right now in the NFL through four weeks? Like, where where are the teams at in your mind? Thank you so much for that introduction. You're welcome. I was just thinking about how weird of an NFL season this has been so far. It's been so, so topsy-turvy. Teams that are kind of crapping their pants, teams that are... Not crap in their pants. They're all Team, crap in their yeah, pants. Yeah, just like every, everybody. There's like two teams that have it. Everybody is commanders. so sloppy. Or, yeah, the two teams, <laughs> Commanders and the Vikings so far, have not crapped their pants. But like, but like, think about this. The that Chiefs are true. 4-0. and Do you think they should have won yeah, any of those but games? but they crapped their pants and the refs right. bail them out. <laughs> the Vikings probably should have lost no. that game last week against the Packers after giving up all those points yeah. in the second half. 28 nothing. And then what was the final score? 31-28? Yeah. Oh, man. Then, 29, I think, right? Ravens. It was twenty nine. Yeah, the Ravens look like the greatest team on earth, but still lost to last week. But still lost to the Raiders. Yeah, the the Steelers have been hot, but then not very hot against Joe Flacco, which is very funny. The Lions got beat up by the Bucks. The Bills look like crap sometimes. Like the Forty Niners look like they're being brought down to earth. The Jets lost to the Broncos, and Bo Nix <laughs> had negative, negative passing yards. yards through three quarters. Yeah. And he ended Wasn't with he like 60. S- and his, yes. The stats were awesome. His one yes. receiver has 60, then like 3, 3, negative 4, negative 2. The Cardinals are up here, and then they're down here. The Bengals are up here, and then they're down here. The, they're just, everybody's all over the place. So I was I was trying to make sense of this. So I, I got a little tier system here. And tier is in T I E R, not T A E. And it's all wrong. T E A R. <laughs> so apparently, this is all wrong. So, my first tier, my top tier, is the Super Bowl contenders tier. It's, I see that it's the refs against the Ravens. It's the refs against the Ravens. <laughs> Chiefs, Raven, <laughs> Chief I got Ravens. Chiefs, Ravens. The only teams that I really view as Super Bowl contenders right now are the Chiefs and the Ravens. To win it, I should say. Obviously, an NFC team has to get in there, whatever. I just don't see anybody from the NFC being a realistic threat to win the Super Bowl. Pur- sure. Purple and gold? No. A lot of people are saying that Darnold is looking nice. But I think those two teams are kind of at the, the top of the okay. top right now. All right. My next tier is playoff caliber teams led by former first-round quarterbacks. So I got Vikings, Lions, Bills, Bucks, Seahawks. Right in that Seahawks train, baby. Boy, have I been right. Have you I been are, wrong yeah. about a lot of things? You are on that Have Seahawks I been wrong about a lot of things? Only thing Absolutely. You've been right about so far. But the Man. Seahawks, you they are. played the Lions tough on Monday night, and I think they got a real shot at this, and I think that division they're in is kind of crap. It's a three-point loss, right? Yeah. The Seahawks, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, 
Anybody anybody you disagree with in in that? Vikings, Lions, Bills, Bucks, Seahawks. Not necessarily, but I playoff also... caliber teams. Playoff caliber teams, no. I agree with all those. Like all these teams are going to make playoffs. That's what I'm saying. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, they they at least have a very solid chance. Okay. They're not Super Bowl contenders, but they're not going to miss the playoffs. Well, like I would say the Bucks and the Seahawks still don't have my Full commitment. Mm. Bucks looking pretty good tonight. They do look pretty. They do good look tonight. pretty good. Pretty tonight. good tonight. Yeah. All right. Next, I've got way station teams waiting to get picked up. <laughs> these are some teams that it's like, are you going to make the? Are you going to go to the playoffs? Or are you not? Because these are the guys that I would throw in right with Bucks and Seahawks. To be honest. Okay. With, with well, okay. say, say your list first. And okay. I'll, not I all three. Not all three of them. No. So for my I'll way to it when for my these. way station teams, I got Packers, Steelers. Texans. The Packers and the Texans are my two that I would bump up into oh, I was the same go. spot as the Seahawks and the I was going to go Packers and Steelers. Not the Steelers. I think the Steelers are stealing wins. <laughs> like they're, not, they're, not, they're not as good as they're uh, Justin Fields, baby. Doing right but, now. But the reason why, I bring, uh, why these three teams are in here is because of the inconsistency of their team so far. They are absolutely playoff well, caliber the teams. The Packers missed their quarterback for a couple right. of games. But also, they missed their quarterback in the first two quarters of the Vikings game. And did the Texans have the Texans lost anyone besides us? No. So like, one but they, lost to a team yes, that's rolling they really nicely lost, right they now. They almost lost to the Jaguars last week. Yeah, that's pretty gross. That would hurt. Okay. That's pretty gross. So like, are you going to actually show up, or are you going to not show up? This is what I'm looking at for these teams. Justin Fields, you're putting up some great stats, and it's translating. Steelers defense, you're looking pretty solid. You're getting hurt already. You guys are going to show up? You guys going to make it? You're going to make a push? But well, here's the thing. The not. Texans are going to make the playoffs. And that's all you're saying for that a tier above. That's all I'm they're saying. They're going to make it. Right. It doesn't mean they're going to do anything in the playoffs. They're going to they're going to hop in. Yeah. But right now they're at the way station of I'm either going up river or down river. No, I'm confident the Texans make the playoffs. Okay. And they just don't do anything. So when you they get would there. say move Texans Packers up. At least the Texans for sure. The okay. Packers at least Texans you can for sure. And then you're getting rid of the Bucks. Jordan Love needs to pick up his crap. <laughs> are you getting rid of any of those playoff caliber teams, or are you no, just moving there, them up? There's still room in there. Got you. Okay. There's still okay, room okay. in there for those teams to be able to slide in with the other ones that are in front. Okay, that makes sense. So now we've got: Are we sure they're good tier? 49ers, Cowboys, and Commanders. This is where I think you're very wrong, because please put the Commanders up there first. <laughs> One, I think the Commanders could potentially be in the way station if you move the Packers and the Texans up. They could go right along with the Steelers. 49ers, on the other hand, I think is a great team. They're just injured. They're hurt. Uh, half yeah. their team's hurt right now. Are we sure they're good? Yes. <laughs> You're sure they're good? I'm pretty positive. I think even, the 40- though, even though they're badly injured. Well, like, are you counting their team at this very moment? Yeah, that's or, a like, good question. I'm saying when right they get now, back to their full strength. These are the tiers right at this moment. No. Okay, 49ers are of, not good right they're now. Not they're not that. Yeah. They're, are you sure Badly they're hurt. good right now because they lost their entire offense? <laughs> but if the 49ers win this week, you would say, okay. No, if the 49ers, kind of regardless here. of whether they win or not, if they announce that literally McCaffrey, Kittle, and Samuel were coming back, I'd be like, yep, they're a good team. I don't okay. even care. I don't even have to watch the game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> are they all out about the same amount of time? No, no, no. Kittle, Kittle's oh, and back. Is, is Trent Ayuk is Williams there. Back. Trent Williams is back. Okay. McCaffrey's the only one with a leg injury, right? McCaffrey yeah. is probably not going to play this year. Yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, which that hurts. The the he took a trip to Germany and he's got that Porzingis well injury. Him. However, uh, yeah. why am I blanking on his name? Who's the guy that's playing for him? He's doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, Mason. Yeah, is Jordan, right? Jordan Mason is Jordan doing pretty Mason, well. Yeah. Are we sure the Cowboys are good? The yeah. Cowboys, so Cowboys so no, are... nobody nobody's really stepping up for the Cowboys I here. No. Don't know. I could mm. totally see the got, Cowboys turning it around, but I don't know. Two of their dudes just get paid a absolute boatload of money. Prescott and uh, yeah, well, CD Lamb and CD. I think they need to worry about their defense. What has Mike Zimmer done to them? Well, Parsons, like, is, it's bad. Parsons is going to be out for a little bit. Yeah, he got hurt. He's on D well, right. They D look on. like crap, no matter what. Parsons, right. Parsons is like their best. Is pr- you would probably say is their rusher. best player on their team. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So, so Cowboys, they can probably get knocked down a tier after this. Other week. than the crazy Dak fans. Other than the yeah, oh my God, Dak. <laughs> okay, so you guys could realistically see 49ers, Commanders 
heading up to that way station. I, can, I, I know, I know well, Taylor wants it. I know Taylor wants to put the Commanders in the Super Bowl contenders. After 49ers, I'm putting in the playoff caliber teams if they get oh, their hopping. players back. They're After hopping. four yeah. weeks, as you just said, as the tier stand right now, I think the Commanders should be up in that way station. Okay. That's my opinion. Okay. After after grinding over the tape and seeing what they're doing, okay. I'm perfectly fine with that until we get to this next year. <laughs> nobody's nobody's grinding tape more than you. This next year is going to screw it up too. <laughs> All right, the next tier we've got is God. You guys look rough, but can make a playoff push. We got the Jets. We've got the Colts, Eagles, Falcons, and Saints. So the Falcons and the Saints are my problem there. Okay, they both okay. look fine. Like they don't look amazing. So they, they can, don't look fantastic. So but are, they are we sure they're good? Yes. Exactly. That's are we the sure tier. they're good? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Saints are the shocker. Like, what are the Saints? Right. Did you guys, did, yeah, more you guys, because, I, again, I haven't really grinded over this much NFL well, since started out really four weeks high. ago. Were the Saints supposed to do this this year? No. no. They were supposed to be god-awful. Yeah. Right. Rashid Shaheed looks like the reincarnation of Randy Moss. My goodness. So Until go two weeks ago. Go back and listen to Matt in our right. first podcast before the NFL have... started. He yeah. did not like the Saints at all. I did yeah. not. I did not. So like I you know I'm I'm fine with moving the Falcons and Saints up to yeah. the are we sure they're good. I'm fine the with that. Falcons have been looking good since their first week pretty much. It, it is disturbing to watch Kirk Cousins move. That yeah, is my but hesitation. Yeah, the team is winning. Like I I'm just saying they definitely fit into the are you good like at least. And they did beat the Saints last week in a very yeah. close game. Falcons did. The Falcons yep. did. And they're so that, not having trouble scoring tonight. Right. So so maybe but we can we can move them up to the are we sure they're good? All yeah, right. We can do that. But that leaves us with the Jets, Colts, and Eagles and the God you guys look rough but can make a push. I think the Eagles are gonna have to start doing like a rebuild. They're gonna have to figure something out. They cannot yeah, with I the don't know what's salary. Going on with them. I know they probably can't. You guys know a lot got. more about that, but I don't think they're I don't think they're doing I anything. I think they this need year. a complete coaching overhaul. Apparently they need Matt's favorite player, Jason Kelsey, to come out of retirement. Man, if he was, I'm not addressing that man. If he was the center, they would be at least two and two right now. Actually, yeah. they are two and two. No, they're not. See, see, these are my yeah, these are kind of my problems, and this is why I kind of group these teams together. Anthony Richardson, Jalen Hurts, and Aaron Rodgers should be playing way better than this, and Agreed. they stink. Yeah, and they are not doing well. And Aaron Rodgers cost the Jets that game last week. Did he? He is the he was the what problem. What did he do? I know everybody blames the other the receivers and people are not on his page, but that Jets offense stinks. Brees Hall had four yards rushing. Yikes! Br- Brees Hall is the guy that everyone was like, oh, he might be the best running back in the NFL. How many times did Rodgers sling it? Fifty? Uh, not enough. Not enough. It's just in general, like these teams. Anthony huh. Richardson got hurt last week. Joe Flacco came in and looked like saw that and got him a win. Joe Flacco, baby, against the Steelers. Hey, he's going to be that new Fitz Magic. Could he he's get comeback just... player of the year two years in a row? Is that possible? I doubt it, but maybe <laughs> we'll see. But again, I could see in like six weeks. It's like, oh man, did you see the Colts kind of kind of putting some stuff together here. Or is the, Flacco going to be playing maybe. for the next couple weeks? Or, Do you know? See, Richardson's questionable right okay. now with a hip contusion. Oh, gotcha. So, like, possibly. So a bad, so maybe. For, so a bad bruise. Right. Got you. So there might be something there. Okay. Or, like, the Eagles, like, hey, man, can you believe the Eagles ripped off four wins in a row? I huh. could see that happening. That's that crazy. could happen. But they started off so bad. Yeah, like, that's no. the Jets, like, oh, I can't man, figure they're really, out what's they're going, really going for them, for the division. They're pretty close. I hope not. Okay. <laughs> uh, this next tier is this better not awaken anything in me. And this is the Chargers and the Broncos. So. The Chargers are a weird one. I just don't want them to give me false hope and make me believe in something that doesn't exist. Well, the Broncos, where are you going to get your false hope yeah. from? Have you seen their defense? It is insanely great. Yeah. Is it really? Anything, insanely great. Anything. Pat- Patrick offense. Sertan should be defensive player of the year. The last four weeks, how many points are they giving up? Are, the, are their games really close? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they won they that game. The they beat the they Jets 10-9. Okay. Yeah. They beat this, the Jets 10-9. This is, this is a team that... Manhandled the Jets last week. Manhandled the Bucks, a team that won by double digits against the Lions the week prior. You talking about the Broncos? I'm talking about the Broncos defense right now. Oh, defense, gotcha. That is that is a 
a team that I see some highlights and Bo Nix is ass. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd be really tempted to yeah. play a ass. Get a veteran to. Oh, sit Zach Bo Wilson's on that team, my man. No, like a <laughs> a real QB. <laughs> no, I, I just I I, I, see, I see that team and I'm like, God, your defense is incredible, but your offense is so inefficient and terrible, and it's hilarious to me because that's the part that Sean Payton is supposed to like bring to the table. Are they one and three? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, no, they're two and two now. Who they just? The Jets were the last team. They won beat? Jets Bucks back to back. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, and they played Seattle yep. to start up my beloved Seahawks to yep, start off the year yep, too. Yep, yep, yep. Two and two with. So I'm Knicks I'm just I'm just a little yards. nervous that the Broncos playing in a bad division might have a chance at it. Similarly, yeah, the Chargers they just need to take their QB out. Justin Herbert has had. So many lower extremity injuries. I did not think he was going to be upright for most of the year. He's, well, has he ever had a play that, that thing, he didn't man. get hit? <laughs> he's got that thing. Lad McConkey is like looking pretty good as a rookie. Their their offensive line is solid. Joe Alt and Rayshon Slater look great. Their defense sucks. It's like the reverse thing. If the Chargers had the Broncos defense, we would be talking about them going like fifteen and one, fifteen yeah. and two. The Chargers? Yes. Oh wow! Like realistically, so they can put up points. Yes, yes. Well, they run, they pound the ball because they've got the Harbaugh. Harbaugh, offense going. yeah, just run, 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 run. So both of those teams, I'm just like, God, don't make me believe in you. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be hurt. Yeah, I don't think we have to do that. Speaking of that, this is the Mario. Let me love you, tear. <laughs> <laughs> if you people know Mario, what not, a, not what a banger. Not not the. Uh, the red character that people love to play in Super Mario Brothers. This is Mario who sang the song, You Should Let Me Love You. It's a banger, by the way. The Cardinals, the Bengals, and the Bears. Just let me love you, boys. Let me love you. <laughs> you keep doing all these things. Where are you going with this? You guys keep doing things to make me so mad. And I just want to love you. You want to love the Bears? Yes, I want to love Caleb Williams. Whoa. I want to love Roma Duzier. No, no, no. I want to love that team. I'm with perfectly all of happy my heart. with the Bears being absolute trash. And every time that I watch them play, I'm like, "You guys suck." Yeah, I don't know about the Bears there. You really. don't deserve my love, but I'm Mario. I'm just I'm in the corner, dancing. I don't feel like you should. This should not be the case for you as a Vikings fan. What is wrong with you? Because I just <laughs> like good teams. Uh, the Bengals? The Bengals. The Bengals are my boys. I just want them to be happy, but they hate each other. They do not like each other. <laughs> they hate everybody and hates each other. And their quarterback is kind of lost right now with his own he, outfits. I don't even think yeah. he dresses himself. He probably doesn't. He, he doesn't. I would if I had that much money, I'd have somebody He's dress actually me probably every day. getting paid to wear what he wears. I'd be looking like Lord Farquaad walking around. <laughs> and and then the Cardinals as well. Their defense is just so bad, but their offense is so fun. The Kyler Murray Marvin Harrison connection is like pretty good. After week one, that connection's nice. James Conner looks pretty good. I like I love Greg Dorch. It's Dorch time, baby. Dorch. Trey McBride is out this week, but you know, he's he's a really solid tight end. Just let me love you guys. Don't do this to me. You should let me love you. Let me love you. All right, what do we got next? You got no no qualms there except no, for the Bears? No qualms there. Say the Bears, I, I should hate well, them. You should hate the Vikings Bears, fan. but I'm fine with them being in that okay. tier for like all right. people outside of our division. The next one is for all of the Invincible fans out there. This, this <laughs> is a one-team tier. Uh, Vince Papali might need to start for this team. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Rams. Uh, Vince Papali, very famously was a guy that attended open workouts, open tryouts for the Eagles back in the day. It made the team, played special teams. Whole movie about it, Invincible. Not very good. I need to watch that. We, Check it out. we talked about this on our movie Check episode, and I need to watch it. The Rams at this time, I believe, are down two starting wide receivers, three offensive linemen, um, uh, just a litany of defensive players. They're They're just kind of like... Cobbled together. Stafford's yeah. their quarterback, right? Stafford's their quarterback, but God knows what could happen to him at yeah. any moment. I was going to say, he any doesn't moment. have an offensive line anymore. So, so like in general, they they just might need the services of Vince Papali. I just don't know what to make of them. Call him up. I just don't know. Oh, he, he's dead. But Oh, yeah, R.I.P. He died a while ago. R.I.P. Get out there, Matt. I, I'm willing to play whatever position the Rams need me to on a league minimum deal. Yeah. Fully guaranteed, though. For sure. 
I'm not doing any league that minimum. It, it's at crap. least one point one mil. Yeah, that'd be Things nice. But well, Minnesota dollars. state taxes, you're probably going to get about seven hundred and like oh, twenty of that. Oh, shut up about state taxes. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay state taxes in two places if I play for the Rams. No, you won't. Your address is here. Right, and I'm employed in California. We're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. No, we're not. The Rams need the services of a Vince Papali. Not a Matt if Lambert. If you are available to play for the Rams and you are in the Los Angeles greater county, Please show up to SoFi Stadium to help the team. Love it. Purgatory teams that will never die but should. The Raiders, the Titans, the Panthers, and the Jaguars. I'm getting nods of approval. Yeah. No, nobody's, yeah. nobody's correcting me on this. Yep. No, Could you right. imagine being a fan of any of these teams? How depressing it would be. The only yeah. team has some positive uh, outcomes to look forward to are uh, the Titans because they're getting a new stadium soon. But that's, that's, it. that's about it. But Will Levis is your quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Mason Rudolph might be your quarterback going forward. Maybe next year. (laughs) Who knows? Yeah, I just, these are teams that are just sad. They're stuck. They're not dead. They're not alive. They're in purgatory. Yep. And that's the place, from all my religion classes, say you don't want to (laughs) go. Shout out to Catholicism. (laughs) Not a sponsor, but they could be. (laughs) Well, actually, financially, they're not doing so hot, so maybe not. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of lawsuits. I don't know if you guys have heard, but oh my goodness. Anyways, speaking of Catholicism, same color as poop tier, the Browns. Pretty self explanatory. That's, yeah. yeah, that's. <laughs> that's there's there's yeah. nothing to say there. But they've been there before. They've they're used oh, to this. They've thing. always been poopy. Yeah, <laughs> but they're especially poopy. Deshaun yeah. Watson, very poopy. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Well, I mean, if they figure out how to get rid of that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they might not have to. Help. They might not have to figure it out themselves. It might just happen. Maybe coming they should, coming I, soon. I know they're the Browns, but they should change their colors. Yeah, not be brown anymore. Yeah, what would you change it to? I, literally anything else. Yeah, literally anything else. All right. Anyways, not much to say about that one. Deshaun no, Watson no. sucks, and he deserves everything that he gets in this life because he's a well, sexual the assaulter. Money that they're paying him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's other yeah. than that, just yeah. outrageous money. They should they should take his contract away too. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the next one. Get ready for the bleep. Malik Neighbors fucking rules. This is another one teamer. This is the New York Giants. New York Giants. The New York Giants are a team I don't think anyone should have to watch. I think if it was going to be used in Guantanamo Bay, it would be used for torturing people. Ooh. <laughs> Man. But I watch Malik Neighbors play, and it gives me a thrill that I have not felt since Justin Jefferson's Offensive Player of the Year. Wow. So here's the question. Is it more torture to watch the Giants on a reg- regular basis, or is it more torture if your team loses to the Giants? If your team loses to the Giants, they should have to sell. The Browns, that's why they're right next to the Giants, actually, in this yeah. tier list. The Browns should have to sell their team. What if? <laughs> actually, to the Giants. You, we got a couple more tiers left, and I got to pro- yes. propose a question to you guys. But finish your tiers. But, so, yeah, the Giants are garbage. Malik Neighbors. I, I wish you the best in this life. I wish you wouldn't have gone to the Giants. I wish you would have gone to a team like the Chargers that would have made you an absolute star. Last tier, their games should be on tape delay. Oh, my goodness. The Dolphins and the Patriots. So very, very long ago, the NBA used to be on tape delay. The first, NBA, the, you know, first couple of NBA finals were on tape delay. They yeah. weren't actually shot live. I don't think anyone should be subject to watching Dolphins or Patriots games this year. Are you saying that now about the Dolphins because of what's going on there? Yes. Or was that before? No, no. no this, this is current. This is injuries. Oh, this yeah. Is you already yeah. said that. These tears are, like, happening now. Watching yeah, today. The, watching okay. the Dolphins and Titans game on Monday night made me, like, physically ill. <laughs> to yeah. see those two teams play against each other. And Who ended how up horrible winning? it was. The Titans by a lot. Okay. First time the Titans have scored 30 points in like four years. Wow. Yeah. Even when they had Derrick Henry? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I okay. don't think anyone should have to watch the Patriots or the Dolphins this year. I think both of them should just bow out quietly. I think we should all move on with our lives. Fair enough. Fair enough. And those are my tears. I like those tears. Thank you. So speaking of tears... um. Football overseas does a tier system in their leagues. If you lose, you get rele- relegated. Is that the word? Yes, sir. 
Wouldn't that be sweet if the NFL it's actually did that? It's a really cool concept that you cannot do for American sports. <laughs> why can't you? You can't. Well, it's a cool concept. I'm just curious why you can't, and I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just curious. Well, the whole s- or go ahead. You wanted to say well, like if, there. so, like if you're in the Champions League for English football, you've got a, an insane amount of money, so you can just buy players off of other teams. Yes, you have a lot of money. Yeah. So, like, it's very, it's very, very different than like the drafts that happen here. So like, and also there are like thirteen year olds in soccer academy. No, there's like ten year olds in soccer academy. Yeah, there are because we've talked about this. Yes. they're young. Yes, like I think I remember watching the interview with Harry Kane. Oh, I think plays for Munich now. I can't remember. I'm not really a big football fan. But... So these guys literally just buy the rights to these players. Yes, and take them on. Yes. So there's no drafts. No. There's no like feeder league. No. There's no anything well, like that. Yes, the feeder league are the smaller ones, and then. The bigger ones say we're just going to buy that player. So the Premier League is the the yes. league you want the, to be in. The Champions League is the biggest one Got that you. you want to go to. You don't think they can do that in the NFL? No, I'm just proposing a random you, question. How would you do it? What would you drop to? Basically, what you'd have to do is you destroy all the teams from every level of football, and then people just buy the people. They don't like. Yeah. Could you put like money? Can you do caps and stuff though? You think you can do that? No, you can't do caps. And you just take you no. just take your team and like, oh, you suck. You're going to move down into no. this league. No, the closest thing we have to it is like baseball. Actually, yeah, no, but even the then, the teams don't go down. You just NBA switch your players because there's not enough G League teams. So the G League, but you teams don't pull the like, teams up though, right? So you still can't do that part right. of it. The closest right. you could get is if the NBA basically <laughs> the, released everyone from G League and the NBA. The Sioux Falls, and said, the Sioux Falls like. Stampede are not making it from the G League up to yeah. the NBA. You're right. So gotcha. basically, if you started a new league and every state or whatever, yeah. someone started a team. Well, you could do anywhere, basically. Yeah. Like, you just have to find a city. Someone has to be a billionaire or whatever and <laughs> build a stadium gotcha. for their team. Do you know where and it buy actually, how do you know where actually could work is in college. You can do that yeah, for college could. football. No, you could. Because but, that's what's kind of happening with NIL. Yeah. Yeah, that is very true. You could kind of do that with NIL money. Would you take the Power Five conferences but and the, they would be the top of the oh, right. top of the top? So that's the thing is the Power Five would be in those champion leagues. So the problem you get SEC, with that, though, Big is 10, you got Big like, 12. let's yeah. say you got a team that drops into a lower conference or whatever you're, you're suggesting it would be dropped into and they just absolutely wreck them no no but the problem now is that like your good players just moved on <laughs> like yeah the, the team that went down is not the team that and actually that's what deserved you, that's to what go you down. get though yeah. now but, you have to recruit the good players but not only it. that you but, can do it like ronaldo has done and been like i'm going to saudi arabia or yeah. what messi has done i'm I mean, going to miami college right sports right now but travel like inter like but continental yeah. things oh, I see. Yeah, sure. is the difference to me. It's like there are people that are like, I will just go play in Korea. I don't care. Yeah. Like 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 that that to me would be the difference. So I no, I, I think the system I, would be awesome yeah. if you could do it, but I you just can't do it with an existing system. I just there. thought of it because of the tier system that we just talked about. It's like it would be interesting to because I know football. It'd be does so that. cool. It would, wouldn't it? To see the worst two teams just get yeah. like punished by just going just away right. to another so, league. So you would destroyed. you would see the Chiefs have like they would have like Tyree Kill and Justin Jefferson on their team. Yeah, because they because they would just outright buy out buy out players, yeah, yeah. right, and be like, we'll pay you three times. And Minnesota what you're worth. would be in three leagues down. Cause I was gonna <laughs> say, and Minnesota would be way down here, so they would just be like, yeah, and a rare take our, year you maybe take get our to offensive the... linemen, ta- and yeah. that's actually what the problem would be. It wouldn't be skill players. It would be like we have we have the next best left tackle. Yeah. Oh, somebody the the Chargers that are up there, they're gonna take our left tackle now, and we're going to be stuck with a backup left Unless tackle. you randomly get a billionaire who would love to take that team because it's just his yeah. favorite team for some reason. But that's a hell of a show for Ted Lasso if they're looking for ideas. Yeah, that is. If if Ted Lasso wants to come and like do that. That could be their spinoff show. That's legit. That's right. Season four is coming out right now. Yeah, or getting that. made right now. Yeah, which I'm is pumped. awesome. I'm so pumped. I was really disappointed when they said that they weren't making it Same. anymore. Now, yeah, can I zag on this? Ted Lasso sucks. Yeah, yeah. You, can yeah, you give us, give us your, give us your input. That last season was bad, and you everybody last, knows it, and nobody wants to admit wasn't it. Wasn't too good. It's an absolute turd. Jason Sudeikis is apparently coming back for the next season of Ted Lasso, so that makes everything that they did wrong. 
Jason Sudeikis. Or fill me in. Ted Lasso. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Come on, you got to use his character name, bruh. Okay. Oh my, my apologies. gosh! Any, I'm not going to rant on Ted Lasso unless they do exactly what you said. Unless they do exactly what I said, and then, <laughs> then in that it case, would all be and then you perfect. want then producer credits. Apple, I want swag. <laughs> I want lots of other things. Come on, you got to ask for more money, not just swag. If you're if you're getting Ted well, Lasso we already things, said that out. we're okay with just gear. Listen, so. throw in a couple iPod Nanos for the boys, and we'll yeah, be there right. we go. Uh, is this game going to go to overtime, boys? Yeah, we should probably wrap it. Yeah, we should. That was a quick one. Episode 13 of the podcast. That's going to wrap it up tonight. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your sister. Tell your dogs. Tell everyone. Just just spread the word about the podcast. And uh, if there's any Washington breweries out there that want to uh, throw some swag our way or throw some beer our way or throw anything our way, reach out. Our contact information is on Spotify. So uh, leave us a text and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You guys are the best. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.